Grandpa Newby reporting for duty was something to admit. Not really proud of it, but I'm an MCW destroyer. Here's my configuration that destroys the MCW. Now, I'm not going to go over each and every one of these items, and I'll tell you why it destroys in a second. But I've never really been a fan of the MCW. It's just not my cup of tea. I think there are better assault rifles out there, much better. But that still doesn't negate the fact that my configuration does more harm to me than good. And why do I say that? Take a look at my configuration compared to a bare bones configuration. Now, the configured MCW has a 94 bullet velocity advantage, but in the small maps and the free-for-all maps, that really doesn't come into play very much. Green is good for bare bones. Red is bad for bare bones. Highlighted green is very good for bare bones. Highlighted red is something you should take note of for my configuration. And you'll see that only vertical recoil is something significantly in the favor of my configuration. And vertical recoil has never really been a problem for old Grandpa Newbie. If you take a look at the aim down sight speed, the ADS movement speed, and the sprint to fire speed, a bare bones factory settings MCW is a much better weapon and there's so much green on that chart that I think maybe Christmas has gone lopsided. It's like I've been spraying Windex on a highly polished space mirror. It scratches the mirror and makes it unusable. I'm going to try bare bones in free for all. Let's take this bare bones factory setting MCW onto the field of honor and see what happens. Well, let's get it going. I'll save kicking myself for my configuration later. For later, let's just see how the bare bones MCW does. And that guy there is just waiting for somebody to come out the door, but doesn't realize that door goes both ways and people might go in the door. So not a good test, first test, but uh, hey, somebody stepped in paint. Where is he? I'm going to follow him. I like this black light flashlight. And there's a knifer I'm just pulling, holding down on the trigger. 30 rounds seems to be more than enough. I still have 17 left, but I'm going to change it out when I have the opportunity. So, so far, the bare bones MCW, I mean, it's no more powerful than a configured MCW and an MCW that's configured as no more powerful than a bare bones one. So my problem with the MCW is I always feel like it lacks power. Oh, there's somebody going across the bridge. Maybe they came after me. Now it is pretty nimble. I have to give it that. And it is very accurate, but then I can build, <laughs> probably mess up other assault rifles. Like, let's say the SVA 545 and make it just as accurate. There's an obligatory knifer. That person is going to haunt me the entire game. There he is again. There is a second one who gets me. I don't know why people just want a knife and free for all. Well, I mean, go, go to 6v6. Actually, I shouldn't have said that. Um, knifing is part of the meta. A knife is. So they can do whatever they want. I had a guy today tell me that I should. I had to quit using proximity mines. Well, that it messed up his game. I asked him if he'd quit using grenades, tacticals, maybe bullets. Because those bullets were messing up my game. And I'm going to win that game here in a second. Not this one, but the one where the guy was speaking. I think it's the bonus game. So, hey, proximity mines are part of the meta. Shields are part of the meta. Knives are part of the meta. Everything that you can equip your weapon with is part of the meta. You just have to adjust. He just needs to not blindly step on my mines. And it... The MCW itself puts out bullets very quickly, and I really like the sprint to fire speed of the bare bones MCW because you saw a couple of double kills that I got. I would never have gotten the first one against the knifer 
had I not had the sprint to fire speed, had I gummed it up, set my feet in cement with the attachments I was putting on it. Got a little bit of a lead here, but a little bit of a lead is never safe. It's another double kill for the MCW. So did I say it wasn't powerful? It's more like an SMG to me, I guess. Although some SMGs there is obligatory knifer. Forget what I just said about knife being part of the meta. And there is a bonus game after the F4 pops its shoot and it's so apropos that the last kill was an obligatory knife or thumbs up from grandpa. Thum, thum. And there it is. The knifer goes down. Okay, so we've got an infected map here. Not the infected type. Now this guy's just going to go up and camp. Not a good idea at the very beginning of the game. Oop, hey, poor guy spawned right in front of me again. Two cheap kills. Now, there were some good snipers on this map. People say they want to be in my lobbies. I don't know. Sometimes yes, sometimes no. I do about the same. Obviously, I aim for the head. I always do because when I snipe, when I use a marksman rifle, I always aim for the head. And the MCW is so accurate, you saw him. Very few pixels showing in that last kill. And there I'm waiting for somebody that won't show up until I stand up, unfortunately, for me. All right. Back at it. We're tied up, and I'm in second place. Second place is the first loser. Pull out the bare bones, Renetti, and do some work. Renetti is one of the more powerful guns in the game. The COR-45, in my opinion, is one of the more powerful guns in the game. So, <laughs> and it shoots straight as a, an arrow, both of them. The Renetti, COR, the, the tire, all pistols, all powerful. There's somebody standing in the corner. He must have been bad. Was sent there by his mama. Oh, hello. Nice spawn. Of course, Grandpa gets gacked. Everybody tends to run around the edges on this map, and so the guys in the center will surprise you every now and then. Enemy UAV active. I've tried going uh, through the center, but I usually get killed by somebody running around the edges. There's the accuracy of the MCW going on there oh, I'm in trouble grandpa's in trouble and he's tied you may say that I'm in second but if you end with the same score at the top it's, they call the game a tie they don't try to break that tie with uh, crossfires and that sort of thing just keep pulling the trigger until somebody from behind gets old grandpa now I've managed to be down by two lives. Crossfire is an ugly word in free for all. Oh, just gonna stand there. Somebody stepped on the proximity mine and grandpa's back in the action. The MCW is doing fine. In fact, I'm going to reconfigure my MCW. I'm taking off the extra 10 rounds. It's not worth the damage it does. To the weapon. There we go. Sprint to fire speed is good. In fact, the bare bones is significantly better than my configuration. So it's going to change. So there are two games. There's a third coming. I think I played four or five. Please like and subscribe. I enjoyed it. Thanks for watching. Peace to you.
incoming. Hostile cruise missile incoming. The enemy holds the lead. Clock's ticking. UAV in the area. Enemy UAV active. Final minute. Ten seconds. We've secured the field. Mission accomplished.